here we are. We finally got the skinth racked up in the new panel and now playing its own little melody. It's being sequenced by the Turing machine at the moment, but everything you can hear is, is purely the synth. So at the moment you can see there's yeah there's still no labels on any of it. Um, however, everything which will be there is there. I just need to now peel off this green um, and put a decal over the top. However, I'm waiting for the paper to arrive for that. However, for now, I now can remember like memorize what what's what so I know that this is the resonance say. I know this is your, your C V amount there. And you cut off your filter type selection. Got the VCA here, the envelopes here, and the LFOs here. Overall it looks really neat. At the moment I've got it inside my my Eurorack uh, dope for case. However, if I've got this separate power supply, um, I'm thinking about having it in its own separate box um, so I can have it as a standalone unit and then just interface it with the Eurorack as need be. But yeah, overall, it's really cool. It's turned out really nice and looking professional. All the holes are in the right places. There was one slight problem with this hole here. Um, Matt had accidentally drilled this one as uh, the same size as the jack holes rather than the smaller M3 holes for these screws for mounting the boards. However, I found that just putting a like a, a nut which is used to secure the jacks around the screw actually meant that it felt fit in the hole so it's not actually too intrusive. The only other thing was he forgot to drill, drill a hole here. However, as you can see it's marked out so all I need to do is just quickly pop in a hole with my Dremel. Um, but yeah, overall I'm really really happy and I can't wait to uh, get the design on the front.